Hey, this is Anthony from Thrifts. TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Scorpion SGS Mark II glove, available at Revzilla.com. New for Spring 16, this is the SGS Mark II. This is the evolution of the original SGS. This is an SGS. This is an SGS Mark II. And at a time where we're seeing gloves get more expensive and getting less bang for the buck, I actually applaud Scorpion by taking the steps to make this glove more available, more consistent, and a bit more comfortable without changing the price. Now, I will tell you, this guy was consistently out of stock. And around the $80 mark for this level of functionality, we're not surprised. It's one of the juggernauts within the line from Scorpion and really within the three season warm weather sport glove family. And we're really excited and really okay with some of the choices they made going to this next evolution. So if we look at it, still sub 100 bucks, the price hasn't changed and we still come in three colors. This is the red black version. And I'm gonna call it immediately, you're gonna see more ergonomic carbon fiber split knuckle, which we like a lot better than the previous TPU. More flexibility on the back of the hand. Now I will call out that they moved away from Kevlar stitching into normal stitching, and that's because they needed a stitch that would stay with the leather. The Kevlar stitching was stronger, it was actually tearing the leather, so I'm okay with that. One of the things that we are sad to see go is the super fabric. You can see it here in the fingers, tiny ceramic laser welded plates. They no longer play moving into the new version. They've replaced it with TPRs. I will tell you that TPRs can be done wrong. These are done properly. These TPRs are not uncomfortable and they've moved the mid-digital, they've moved your flexibility to mid-digital places so they add to the comfort of the glove itself. The other big change here that's really from a comfort standpoint is they've moved your knock scaphoid. So they've repositioned it. On the previous glove when you were riding, that scaphoid would be right in the palm of your hand. Now they've kept it in a place that's going to allow you to slide with it, but they've moved it to a place that's much easier to control the bike. The other thing that I really can't fault them for was by moving the manufacturing to a much more consistent factory that's gonna give a more consistent fit and production volume, they, were eight, they weren't able to keep the kangaroo. So what we've gone with is a full grain goat leather that actually has a digital goat reinforcement versus the kangaroo from before that just had a silicon grip panel. So again, it's a bit of a trade-off. You're gonna get better longevity out of the goat grip panel, but you are trading some of the lightweightedness of the kangaroo away. I am, at the end of the day, really okay with the changes that they've made to this glove. I'm gonna to toss the old one, and moving into it, it's still one of the best performing, and it's gonna be the, one of the most versatile three-season sport warm weather gloves in a short cuff design. Remember, they've redesigned the SG3 Mark II as well, which is basically this glove with a full gauntlet that will help get you to the track. Now, quick note on sizing. I talked a little bit about the comfort factor. Let's talk about sizing. I'm still a size large in this glove. It fits the same, it's rock solid for the American market. But I talked about consistency. The pre previous glove manufacturing, while they were able to hit a lot of functionality for a great price, they were having issues with the quality of the manufacturing and some of the consistencies and fit as they rolled the line out. So now, by moving manufacturing, it ultimately, ultimately forced them to alter some of the features on the glove. What they've done is they've given you a much more consistent fit scheme. So you're gonna have a more consistent experience when you're buying this glove, again, Previous manufacturer definitely had some duds. They've corrected that issue with the new Mark II. Remember, use the size chart, no surprises there. I'm a large in Revit, a large in Icon, large in First Gear. I tend to be an XL and Alpine Stars Dionese, again, which are more Euro. I'm a large here in Scorpion as well. We'll ship for free over 39 bucks. And what I would love is if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback in the comments on our YouTube channel. Now, if we move into the nuance of the glove itself, remember your goat skin throughout. Notice, ulna protection. TPU on the outsider, it's really temper foam around the ulna. We talked about the split ergonomic carbon fiber design, much more badass look, it's gonna be more comfortable. Also has nice backing and flexibility along this panel that moves with you. We talked about mid-digital protection in the TPRs and the flexibility that's now moved in your hooking fingers, if you're just using two fingers on your brake and your clutch. And on the outside of the hand, you're still gonna have that great outseam protection. Now as I roll it over, not a ton has changed, reinforcement along the thumb. I now have a slightly upgraded micro Velcro TPR pull. The only gripe I really do have with this glove, the thing that kind of sticks out to me, was on the previous version, it was one outseam protector with one panel of leather. On this glove, they've chosen to split it here with two panels, leaves a point of weakness. Again, you're still sub $100 with a ton of functionality, but I will call that out. The other thing I've neglected to talk about, and it's a big thing I've left out, is that this is the first of the Scorpion gloves to get the touch tech finger. So again, it's going to be multi-touch. So iPhone or Android, you now have that integrated in the tip of your 
your finger, whereas the previous version did not. So that is a step forward. And remember, you're maintaining the same price. We talked at length about the, about the goat skin in the palm. Again, offers tactile response, is very strong, Night is light as kangaroo, but ultimately it's still a lightweight glove for summer weight riding. The other thing about the fit scheme is that notice it's externally stitched box finger construction. Very comfortable, especially in more active riding scenarios. Knox Scaphoid. Scaphoid, it's the SPS, Scaphoid Protection System. It's these baked in hard plastic sliders that allow if your hands go down, which many people do in one of the first things in a crash scenario, you're going to allow it to skip versus stop and impact and send all that energy into the small bones in your wrist, one of which being the scaphoid, which is a very hard to heal and recover from injury that lots and lots of people do when they fall like this and put their hands down. So again, love it or hate it, this is a feature that is a protective sliding and impact resistant feature. All in is the SGS Mark II. Three colors available, still one of the best protective and bang for the buck and aggressive gloves under the $100 mark. Remember, full gauntlet goes all the way up. And in a time, as I said, where we're seeing glove prices go up, feature sets come down, cost of manufacturing and raw materials going up. I actually applaud them because I think the new mix works well. Love the consistency and comfort factor. And again, I'm not that worried about some of the trade-offs they made versus the original SGS. So the next step in your journey is click the info button on your screen, on your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at revzilla.com. Read other rider reviews of the SGS. Don't have to just take my word for it. See what other people putting it through its paces are saying. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new Scorpion SGS for spring of 16. Remember, subscribe to me at Revzilla if you don't want me to cry myself to sleep every night. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.